Hey guys, how are you? It's Lolo here again and today I wanted to actually show you guys that I am really close to an active volcano in Mexico and I am in the I'm in Benito Juarez right now and it's really lovely, really nice here. But I also wanted to take a chance to be informative with this video. Um it's Sunday. One second. It is Sunday, May 28th, and I came close to the volcano with my uncle to check it out. And he currently um, stepped away for a couple of drone shots, and we wanted to take a look at what's going on with the volcano. There's a lot of ash here, and I just wanted to show you guys. I'm also trying not to be rude. You know, this is a town really close to the volcano on the skirts of it. And so um, I want to be as respectful with this video as I can be. Currently, though, there is no National Guard, no, and no sources for these people to be helped in case of an eruption. And the volcano has had a lot of activity. Volcanic ash forms during eruptions when dissolved gases and magma escape violently into the atmosphere. The volcano Popo has increased activity and upgraded to a yellow phase 3 in recent weeks. Volcanic ash and smoke has been spewing from a crater, causing a health hazard to the people in the surrounding town. Volcanic ash has negative effects on health. Irritation to eyes, irritation to upper airways, water contamination, and vegetation disruptions, to name a few. As you guys can see, there's actually um, rocks, trees, everything here is covered in ash. And so driving over here, we actually, I saw um, a little young girl, you know, and she was brooming her, what you can say, front yard from just the large amounts of ash that are currently falling from the volcano. Again, we're trying to explore, get closer to the volcano minute by minute, but the issue here is that unfortunately, there's a lot of people that do live on the way up, really close to the volcano. They live on the skirt of the volcano. So we're just walking the terrain and seeing, trying to get the best angle of the volcano. But what I can say from here, from this town, there's a lot of ash and not enough resources to help people. There's, from what I can see, no safe way out in case of the eruption. We are currently in San Pedro Benito Juarez, which is about 11 kilometers away from the volcano. Wow. My uncle just took a couple of drone shots. We're still out here really close to the active volcano i'm gonna ask him if he can please let me borrow i'm gonna actually plug his link into it and so you guys can take a look at what the drone shots would look like and it's really nice it's so peaceful it's beautiful my eyes are crying because of all the ash that went into them it's, you cannot not admit that there's a lot of ash falling from this active volcano. Alright guys, well we were leaving. I had actually planned on finishing the video but it so happened that we found a woman and we had a conversation with her. And I'm going to make sure to include that with subtitles, but as soon as we finish this conversation, 
it was just a bunch of wind and the ash just started to pick up and it was crazy and so basically what is going on sorry the dog was trying to interrupt me my uncle said that the dogs don't do anything and I was like that's fine but there's a lot of wild dogs here we know that um but it was just kind of heartbreaking to hear that the testimony from this woman saying that even though you know the National Guard should be providing some type of resource for the people here they're not and so that's the sad part um she said that and I'll actually include the subtitles I'll let the video talk for itself and I'm out of here guys me and my uncle decided to really just step on it like we said it's about a rain the wind picked up and the ash is just very very dangerous <laughs> Sí, imagínense, imagínense, de verdad, y es increíble que la guarden así. Es como si el volcán pudiera su propio clima, vean eso, vean esa polvadera. Pero no es polvo, muchos pensarán que es polvo normal, después se luce. It is recommended to keep skin, eyes, and airways covered to avoid contact with ash at all times. Damn.